Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So we are looking at this dual spool turbojet engine and we have looked at with afterburner uh, calculations and now we look at the performance parameter. So this is where we have um, just stopped, uh, we just checked both the different scenario with or without afterburner and we have stopped here. So now we will look at some of the performance parameter uh, like um, for the dual spool engine like one of the important parameter is the specific thrust which would be again 1 plus a plus f a b into v 9 minus v plus a 9 by m dot a p 9 minus p a. Now once we get that we can also find out the T S F C like um, TSFC would be m dot f plus m dot f a b by t. So, this can be written at f plus f a b 1 plus f plus f a b into v 9 minus v plus a 9 by m dot a p 9 by p a. So, obviously, when the afterburner is not on then this term means f a. So, without a b, f a b would be 0. Now, also it resembles now the propulsive efficiency eta p which will be T v by T v plus half m dot e v minus v square. So, where the m dot e is the exit velocity, I am exit mass flow rate, exit velocity and similarly we can write thermal efficiency which is T v plus half m dot e v e minus v square by m dot e f q r. Okay. So, now the overall efficiency would be eta p into eta thermal efficiency. So, that is how you can find out. So, finally, when you get this thermodynamical analysis, final aim is to find out the um, like getting this performance parameter like specific thrust TSFC and all this. Now, moving ahead there would be another thing which I would like to discuss about of the something like micro uh, turbo jet. So, these are basically small turbo jet engine, there is a cross section of this picture which is a engine of SR 30, this is SR 30, this is a cross section of micro turbo jet and you can see the different components of that engine. So, these are the small turbojet engines which are developed for use in cruise missile, target drones and other small unmanned air vehicles. Like there are multiple examples of this, this is one of the micro turbojet which um, in the first commercial micro turbine were made available by JPX in the early 1990s and right after that shortly after that Germany and Netherlands sought out to develop powerful lightweight fuel micro turbine. Now, also these are the some of these some micro turbine engines which you can see which are there and this is one of the example of that micro turbine rather let us say this is the harpoon missile, harpoon missile which is in air, air to serve air to surface or submarine launch anti-surface or anti-sim missile 
it is powered by a small CAE J402 small turbojet engine which has a solid propellant booster. So, which is uh, now you can see this there are also range of micro turbine which are available in the market and uh, they are sort of used to for this kind of applications. Now, with that we will uh, move to turbofan. So, this is now the engine which will have we have seen already multiple example of this kind of engines where there would be a fan associated with. So, with the turbo jet we have a added fan and this fan is going to have some bypass and then like one can divide the turbo fan engine is different ways one can have like it is divided into two ways like whether forward fan or aft fan that is one then forward fan can be taken again into different ways like mixed fan and core flow mixed fan core flow mixed fan plus core flow or it could be unmixed right and unmixed flow and then if it is unmixed again it could have short duct or it could be having a long duct ok. Then again forward fan it could have some another branching could be single spool then you could have two spool then we could have three spool also ok and then all these things can be clubbed to have two more segment one could be geared fan or ungeared fan ok. Then the apt fan can know then again this is another way one can classify high bypass ratio engine or this could have low bypass ratio. Now, low bypass ratio it could be with a b or it could be without a b that means with and without after burning. So, there are different category of engines which are available and bypass ratio when you talk about this bypass ratio that means we talk about this factor. So, the bypass ratio beta uh, we call is the bypass BPR bypass ratio this m dot cold by m dot hot. So, that means the hot so this could be m dot fan by m dot core. So, how much pass through the engine and how much uh, being there? So, um, that is what it is there. So, now in the turbo jet, so let us have a layout of a um, engine. Let us say start with this, it goes like this, then I will have this, um, it comes. So, this goes up and this and then I can have another one here which is connected like this in between I have this. So, this one is connected and this is the nozzle, this is the nozzle ok. So, there are different stations 
now let us say this is A, this is 2, then uh, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, um, this is 7, 8, this is 9, this could be 10, this could be 11. So, this is a double spool layout, double spool um, where fan double spool system where the fan plus LPT, LPC are driven by the LPT and HPC is driven by HPT. Here is the fan, then after that some portion of the air goes to the core, some goes here, this is bypass, then it is high pressure, uh, low pressure compressor, high pressure compressor, then low pressure, high pressure, uh, high pressure turbine, low pressure turbine, then if A B is there, it would be sitting there. Now, so already now we can look at the T S diagram. So, here let us say start with A. So, this is A, we go to 2, then we go to somewhere. Three, then three to four, and then we go to five, five to six, to seven. If there is no after burning, it is eight, eight to nine. and uh, this is 10, where 10 to this is 11. So, this is how it looks like. Now, we can do the analysis intake. So, we are not going to repeat the same exercise here, because the intake could be exactly the similar like what we have done in the turbojet then we have fan. Now, a similar analysis to the compressor it can be done. So, you can see the fan pressure P 10 would be P naught 2 into pi f which is the fan pressure ratio. Then uh, we can find the T naught 10 is T naught 2 1 plus pi f gamma minus 1 by gamma divided by eta f. So, that is the fan efficiency that is pi f is the pressure ratio. Then we have low pressure compressor. So, this is P naught 3 which would be P naught 10 into pi L P C. So, and similarly T naught 3 would be T naught 10 1 plus uh, pi L P C to the power gamma minus 1 gamma by 1 eta L P C. Then we have H P C which we could find out the H P C and then HPC would be similar like P naught 4 would be P naught 3 into pi HPC. So, T naught 4 would be T naught 3 1 plus pi HPC to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 by eta HPC. 
So, so that's what we can do, and then five we go to combustion chamber, where again similarly we find out P not five would be P not four minus delta P combustion chamber. That means P not five is P not four. Uh, 1 minus delta P C C. Now, the temperature of the outlet of the combustion chamber is also to um, the inlet to the turbine and that will dictate the co other constraint C P H by C P C T naught 5 by T naught 4 minus 1 eta b q r by c p c t naught 4 minus c p h by c p c t naught 5 by t naught 4. So, this again from the energy balance we get it, then we go, go to h p t. So, h p t is going to run the h p c. So, similarly we dot m dot a so, we again assume W H P C would be lambda 1 eta m 1 W H P T. So, which allows us to write m dot C P C T naught 4 minus T naught 3 eta m 1 lambda 1 m dot a 1 plus f. CPH T naught 5 minus T naught 6. So, the T naught 6 by T naught 5, this is 1 minus CPC by CPH into T naught 3 lambda 1 into M 1 1 plus F T naught 4 by T naught 3 minus 1. So, here also eta m 1 is the mechanical efficiency, HPC spool mechanical efficiency and the percentage of the HPT which uh, developed the lambda 1 would go there to run the. So, what we will get? So, we will get the P naught 6 is P naught 5 1 minus T naught 5 by T naught 6 eta h p t into t naught 5 which is gamma h by gamma h minus 1. Now, we will go l p t. So, again here the low pressure compressor this is the both fan and the low pressure compressor would be driven by that. So, we can write W fan plus W L P C is lambda 2 eta m 2 W L P T, which allow us to write the beta m dot a C P C T naught 10 minus T naught 2 plus m dot a C P C T naught 3 minus T naught 2 eta m 2 m dot a 1 plus f t naught 6 minus t naught 7. So, we can um, do bit of algebra here like we can write 1 plus beta m dot a c p c t naught 10 minus t naught 2 plus m dot a c p c t naught 3 minus t naught 10 equals to lambda 2 eta m 2 m dot a 1 plus f c p h t naught 6 minus t naught 7. So, what we will get? T naught 7 equals to T naught 6 minus C P C 
lambda m2 eta m2 sorry uh, lambda 2 eta m2 1 plus f c p h into 1 plus beta t naught 10 minus t naught 2 plus t naught 3 minus t naught 10 and the pressure at the outlet will get p naught 6 1 minus t naught 6 minus t naught 7 by eta l p t into t naught 6 gamma h by gamma h minus 1. Now, if there is a bleed from the high pressure compressor, if there is an air bleed from the HPC at station where the pressure is P naught 3 B, then the energy balance with high pressure turbine would give the so what we can have that if there is a bleed then uh, let us say at station where the pressure is P naught 3 B then the energy balance would be M dot C C P C T naught 3 B minus T naught 3 plus M dot A into 1 by B 1 minus B C P C T naught 4 minus T naught 3 B equals to lambda m 1 uh, sorry lambda 1 eta m 1 m dot a 1 plus f minus b c p h t naught 5 minus t naught 6 where b is the bleed ratio which is m dot b by m dot a uh, defining the bleed air from the h p c to the core air flow. Moreover, such a bleed has its impact on the energy balance of the low pressure spool and air passing through the low pressure turbine which is also now reduced. That means, what we can do also in the L low pressure turbine LPT in the LPT section 1 plus beta m dot a C p c t naught 10 minus t naught 2 plus m dot a C p c t naught 3 minus t naught 10 equals to lambda 2 eta m 2 m dot a 1 plus f minus b c p h t naught 6 minus t naught 7. So, if there is a bleed then the whole analysis between that station has to be changed. Now, the and that the, um, the flow in the jet pipe is frequently associated with the pressure drop mainly due to the skin friction. So, the pressure upstream of the turbine nozzle is slightly less. So, what we can get P naught 8 would be P naught 7 1 minus delta P jet pipe and T naught 8 would be T naught 7. Now, finally, we come to the nozzle. This is hot nozzle let us say. So, here the exhaust velocities in both the hot gases from the turbine nozzles are obtained after again we have to check whether it is choke or not. So, typically we will see P c 1 by 1 minus 1 by eta nozzle 1 gamma h minus 1 gamma h plus 1 gamma h by gamma h minus 1. So, for an ideal case eta n was 1. So, this would be reducing to gamma h plus 1 by 2 gamma h by gamma h minus 1. Now, if P c is greater than P a, then the nozzle is choked and the temperature pressure of the gases leaving the nozzle are critical values. So, T 9 would be T c, P 9 would be P c, which is obtained like T naught 8 by T 9 is gamma h plus 1 by 2 and V 9 would be root over gamma h r T 9. 
or if it is unchoked, if unchoked then P 9 equals to P A, then V 9 is 2 C P H T naught H eta N T 1 minus P A by P naught gamma H minus gamma H. So, the pressure ratio in the nozzle which could be obtained P naught 8 by P A it is like P naught 8 by P naught 7, P naught 7 by P naught 6, P naught 6 by P naught 5, P naught 5 by P naught 4, P naught 4 by and so on, P naught 3 by P naught 2 sorry P naught 10, 3 then P naught 10 by P naught 2, P naught 2 by P naught a P naught A by P A. So, this is how we get and then there is fan nozzle or one can say the cold nozzle which is there and there also critical pressure has to be checked where P naught P naught 10 by P C 1 by 1 minus eta fan nozzle gamma c 1 gamma c plus 1 gamma c by gamma c minus 1. So, again for an ideal nozzle for an ideal nozzle gamma f n i eta f n would be 1. So, this guy p c becomes gamma c plus 1 by 2 gamma c by gamma c minus 1. Uh, if P C greater than P A, it is choked nozzle. So, T 11 would be T C, P 11 would be P C. So, T not 10 by T 11 would be gamma C plus 1 by 2 and exit velocity would be gamma C R T 11. If unchoked, then P 11 would be P A then the exit velocity would be calculated at 2 C P C T naught 10 eta fan nozzle 1 by P A by P naught 10 gamma C minus 1 by gamma C and P naught 10 by P A is P naught 10 by P naught 2 P naught 2 by P A. So, the net thrust force which is can be now calculated there would be two component of that. So, the specific thrust will have 1 plus a v 9 plus beta v 11 minus u 1 plus beta by 1 by m dot a a 11 p 11 minus p a plus a 9 p 9 minus p a which one can write 1 plus f v 9 plus beta v 11 minus u minus u 1 by m dot a a 11 p 11 minus p a a 9 p 9 minus p a. So, that is out and specific thrust can be calculated. So, one can do that which is T by uh, let us say the but total mass flow rate which is m dot a t and which is nothing but t by m dot h plus m dot c which is t by m dot a 1 plus beta. So, which one can write 1 plus a by 1 plus beta v 9 plus beta by 1 plus beta v 11 minus u plus 1 by m dot 1 plus beta a 11 p 11 minus p a a 9 p 9 minus p a and T S F C, which would be m dot f by t which is m dot f. So, which one can write f by t m dot a. So, this is how all the performance parameter for this uh, double spool engine one can calculate 
along with all this information. So, um, like so, um, what we have looked at both for the turbo jet and turbo fan, what is important is that the station wise calculation you have to pressure temperature you have to find out and in the actual cycle there would be efficient I mean losses. So, you need to consider their efficiencies and by considering their efficiencies once you calculate this pressure temperature finally, you come down to the nozzle and then you first thing you check whether the nozzle is choked or unchoked accordingly you get the exit velocity and then put it back in the thrust and get all the thermal efficiency specific thrust TSFC and all this. So, we will stop here and continue the discussion in the next lecture.